Seattle would be so easy to solve. Would be so easy to solve. We have a governor here of a great state called Texas. He would solve it very easily. As would as would other of your as would other of your political leaders, including your lieutenant governor. They would solve it very easily. It's uh, a lot of it's common sense. President Trump addressing a situation that has spiraled out of control in Seattle. The president earlier today warned the governor of Washington state and the mayor, take back Seattle from anarchists now. If you don't do it, I will. This is not a game. That these ugly anarchists must be stopped immediately. Move fast. That was the president tweeting that. But the mayor of Seattle told President Trump to, quote, go back to your bunker. This after Seattle anarchists seized control of six city blocks, including Capitol Hill, declaring it a, quote, Capitol Hill autonomous zone. Reports coming in, anarchists are using armed guards and are demanding extortion from local businesses who pay the salaries of its elected officials. Let's welcome former NYPD commissioner under Mayor Rudy Giuliani, Howard Safer. Commissioner, great to have you on, sir. Uh, Seattle police abandoned the East Precinct within that area, and then the, pro the anarchists took over. Your take on what's happening in Seattle right now? I'm not surprised. Uh, Seattle has always been very progressive, left-leaning. Uh, I remember when I was commissioner in the late 90s, they had an economic forum in Seattle where there were lots of protesters. They refused to put a perimeter around the convention center, and there was a lot of injuries, riots, and chaos. And we actually used uh, film from that activity uh, as what not to do in training our police officers. You know, anarchists have issued a list of demands that the city abolish the police department, the prisons, give amnesty to illegal Im uh, immigrants, free health care, college for all. You know, police announced that they would not return to the area unless they were responding to a 911 call. Here's the thing, and you're an expert in this, rapes, murders, homicides, assaults are an issue in Seattle. It has one of the worst crime rates in the country, one of the highest crime rates in America. Your take on that? My take on that is, one, you have uh, executives, uh, mayors, who are not doing their job. They're sending signals to a police department that rules of engagement are you let rioters vent, you let crime happen instead of preventing crime. The role of the police is to keep citizens safe. In abdicating six blocks of Seattle, you have left the citizens there without any public safety, without any support. And what they need to do is go in there and clean those people out. It never should have got there to begin with. Where was their intelligence? Where was their patrol? But obviously, it was allowed by the politicians in Seattle. It's outrageous, and I wouldn't be surprised if the National Guard should be sent in there uh, to clean out this group of uh, anti-fire and other protesters. So, yeah, there are also 500 homes inside this zone. How would you deal with it now? I, I would identify who the leaders of this organization are. I would give them an ultimatum. And then I would use whatever necessary force was required to protect the citizens of that six-block area. Those are the people who pay taxes. Those are the people who deserve to be protected, not these anarchists, looters, and vandals. You know, we have NYPD uh, detectives union saying we're going to file lawsuits against anybody who assaults and attacks our cops. Uh, 700 cops have been assaulted in recent protests. We want to give the viewers a warning. We've got, we're, going to, we're about to show disturbing and graphic video released by the NYPD. NYPD describing it as showing a, quote, planned assassination attempt on one of their officers who was on anti-looting patrol in Brooklyn. Uh, so y your reaction to what's going on here, what is your take on the video that we are showing footage of and also saying, hey, we're going to sue rioters who assault cops? My take is very simple. Uh, when you cede the third precinct in Minneapolis, when you cede six blocks in Seattle, you send a message to criminals that you can do whatever you want without consequence. You know, the only people who should be afraid of police are criminals. And when they get a signal that they can do whatever they want and the police are going to be held back by politicians, 
This is what happens. The attacks on police officers, the killing of police officers in this country is outrageous, and we need to take control. You know, the NYPD has made uh, New York the safest large city in America, but that's going in the wrong direction now, and that's because you have a mayor who refuses to support the police or tell them to do what they know how to do best. Howard Safer, thank you so much for coming on, sir. Great to see you, Commissioner. Come back soon. Good to be with you.